Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16, it reads, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. All right, six six six. And the man that is speaking of is the so-called white man, which he is not white; he is red. The biblical Edomite. All right. Before I continue, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teaching the course rather than this truth. Peace and salutations to the elect. All right, this is just a quick little morning uh, impromptu. I already just got off the, the plantation and, uh, you know, wanted to put up a lesson right quick. So uh, the Spirit had me read this right here in Revelation 13, verse 16 through 18. All right, now we're going to go back up to verse 16 where it says um, to receive that mark. The mark that it's speaking of is a karagma. All right. An incision into the flesh. All right. This word right here, mark. All right. It's a karagma, an incision into the flesh. And what they want to put into your flesh is a microchip, all right, which is going to make you a digital slave pretty much, all right. That's the, that's what Esau, the so-called white man, is, is getting ready to come down with on the on the on the world, all right. Yeah, how about some outside is gonna make him do it, all right. But the but the Lord is gonna keep his as elect and his chosen from receiving that mark, all right. Over here in Babylon the Great, aka America, the elect aren't gonna be deceived into taking this mark, all right. The elect have that spiritual mark, which means an exemption from judgment on them, while the two thirds of the Lord's people, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, through the seat of your fathers. All right, you you will receive this mark, and you will be burned up for it. All right, you will be judged, and you will be burned. All right, this is Revelation fourteen and verse nine. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath." Of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Power, which is poured out with that mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Alright, so that's what's coming if you take that chip. Alright. Verse 11 And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast in his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. All right, and it's not gonna. It ain't, it ain't like you're gonna be burning in the lake of fire forever. You're gonna be down there as Lord as long as the Lord see fit to have your spirit. All right, in it. All right. <clears throat> That's why it will behoove you to to uh, trust and fear your help by shout right now before those days come. All right, and listen to the prophets, the men of the Lord who are out on the highways and hedges, letting it be known uh, what this man is getting ready to do. All right, the Lord has revealed. His secrets unto his servants, which are the prophets, all right? Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down to you, have, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. All right, these devils don't have a whole lot of time left to, you know, kick this shit up, all right? All right, this is Second Thessalonians chapter 2. I'm going to start at the top. In verse 1, it says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and by the gathering together unto him, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that day of a Mashiach is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. All right, that's Esau. All right, and the falling away has came, all right? You know, we forgot who we were for 350 years, all right? You know? Let me see. Uh, as it says in Jeremiah 17 and 14, we was going to discontinue. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4, so like we was going to discontinue. 
for my own heritage. Let me get there real quick. All right, Jeremiah 17 and 4, it says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. All right, and that happened. We still yet this day in our captivity, but Yahweh Shai has revealed to his elect, all right, who he is, what he's about, what he's coming to do. All right, you know. The elect are seeking Yahweh Shai. And uh, the two-thirds, they are not. So let's go back to that second Thessalonians 2. All right. Verse 4, it says, who, who, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called Yahweh Shai Peril, or that is worship. So that he as God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. All right, that's Esau. He thinks he thinks he's Yahweh Shai, all right? He put up Chesare, all right? You know, he got Jake worshiping it. He, he did all, all kind of shit. He crossed out our Lord over here, as it says in Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. You know, Yahweh Shai was crossed out, and, and, and Cesare, sweet red Jesus, was put up. All right, homosexual red Jesus was put up. All right, and he's still being idolized and worshipped to this day. All right, verse 5, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you of these things. I told you these things. And now ye know that withhold it, that he might be revealed in his time. And Esau is being revealed, all right? Jeremiah 49 and 10. Behold, I made Esau bear, all right? And he's been made bear by Yahweh Shemel, outside servants, the prophets, all right? He said, For the mystery, the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who would now let it will let until he be taken out the way. That's what Yahweh Shai is coming to do, take Esau out the way. Verse 8, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, the prophets, and destroy with the brightness of his coming, the chariots, all right, as well as ICBM missiles. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders, all right? Esau is the Satan on this earth, the adversary, the wicked, the devil the Bible speaks of, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, as it refers to him in Revelation. All right, that's these so-called white people, all right, starting with the elite of their nation, all right? Verse 10, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved, all right? Because Yahweh Shemel Shai's got the door open right now, all right? But again, only the elect are trying to go through that door. Only the elect are seeking Yahweh Shemel Shai, all right? Two-thirds of the Lord people, they're going to die over here in this land with these Edomites, all right? You know what I'm saying? What went down yesterday, Uh, that wicked nigga Polite, Polite, Holite, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, uh, the 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 nigga who had a lot to say about, you know, what our elders and apostles were teaching. You know what I'm saying? Which is the truth of the Bible. All right. You know, just just telling you how to deal with the things of the Bible, the hard, the good, the bad, the ugly of the Bible. All right. It is what it is. Our apostles teach the whole role. All right. As we're commanded to do. All right. But the nigga had, you know, a whole lot of shit to say about. You know how the Lord uh, set it up for young women to have a flower of their age and for men to deal with them and da-da-da-da-da. Not going too far in that. But you see what that nigga was doing, all right? First and foremost, we ain't on this side. Our personnel have never taught us to do no shit like that. They don't do no shit like that, all right? It's just in the scriptures. That's, that's how it went down, all right? But we ain't. We are not in our kingdom, so we have to render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar. Rent down to your house from outside of things that your house from outside, all right? We have to follow the law of the land. As long as it, you know, we ain't going, it don't lead us to going off. But you see what this nigga did? This nigga fucking popped his woman's, uh, I think she was, what was she, 13, 14? She was a young, she's a young woman, all right? He fucking assaulted her, all right? Sexually assaulted her, all right? Now that nigga in jail, all right? Got a seven year sentence, all right? Which is a complete amount of time, all right? And just know. All right, nigga, you ain't coming out of prison. All right, you can hang that shit up. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't going to be here in another, in another seven years. All right, not in this wicked-ass, wretched-ass land. Nigga, you're going to die in that, in, that, in that place. All right. Damn. One second, I can. Hey, Y'all forgive me, I had a phone call. All right, but um, as I was saying, that nigga ain't coming out of that place. We ain't going to be here in seven years, all right? Nigga, you... you you finna get your issue in that, in that, in that, uh, you know what I'm saying, that, 
uh, sodomite jungle. Where you going, all right? You know what I mean? We're going to see if your uh, black woman guy going to save your ass from them niggas up in there, all right? Because they're going to know what you in there for, boy. All right, and you know you can't go to jail for touching, look, for touching children and shit, all right? So that nigga, he's going to know what it's like to be the, the uh, used and abused woman, all right? And your how about some hours shot Barack a thigh for sending that judgment to that nigga, all right? You, 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 you what, what's that, uh, they're saying, what them niggas are saying, you fuck around and you find out? The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out, all right? The more you fuck around with the men of the Lord, the more you're going to find out that the Lord is against you, all right? The Lord said, uh, offend not these little ones, all right? It'd be better for you to tie a rope around your neck and toss your black ass in the ocean. Then, 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 then the offend one of the Lord's little ones, and guess what, polite, whole light nigga, you offended the Lord's little ones, and now your ass is where you gonna be, all right? And that's where you gonna die, at, nigga, all right? You gonna die in that jungle, boy, in that sodomite jungle, all right? With them wicked niggas, all right? You know what I mean? Let me see. Let me read this in verse 11, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. They say, And for this cause, Yahweh Shemel Shah shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. All right? These, these two thirds of it, they believe the lies that Esau put on them and told them. All right? All right, verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. All right? The black woman is God and all this different madness that you niggas subscribe to. All right? That's your undoing. All right? I just got a phone call a while ago. All right? Where I had to. Uh, stop the video and come back to it. All right, uh, you know, an individual I've known a long, a good while. All right, a good while. All right, he was close to me at one point in time when I was in the world. But since I've come into the truth, you know, I don't really, I don't really deal with the world like that. I mean, I don't, I, ain't, I can't even tell you the last time I seen dude. All right, or I had a conversation with him. All right, but um, you know, the, the, the um, you know, the Lord took him out of here this morning. All right, took his ass up out of here. All right, and he was married to one of my. My cousins and shit, and the Lord took her ass up out of here. I want to say, was it last year or the year before? Took her ass up out of here, all right? You know, the Lord is doing things in this earth, all right? And I know my family is going to feel, they ain't there feeling a way about it now, but, you know, when, when I got that call and they let me know, I mean, shit, I can't even bullshit you. I ain't feel nothing. I mean, I just didn't feel nothing. I don't want to say, you know, I just didn't feel nothing, all right? I, don't, I still don't feel nothing. I mean, I'm like, whatever. I mean, the nigga dead, the nigga dead. I mean, shit. It is what it is, and that's the spirit the Lord is putting His men in right now. He's starting to get us, get us into that mindset to where we don't, we don't, we don't care about the shit of the world or the people of the world. All right, you people gonna get what's coming your way. All right, and at the end of the day, a lot of you motherfuckers was them same ones who said, "Give us uh, Barabbas." All right, so now it's time for you to receive the error of your of your way. All right, let His blood be on us and our children. It's time for you niggas to honor it. All right. But this was just a quick, you know, morning impromptu, nothing too deep, nothing too heavy. Just wanted to uh, put up something right quick, feed the sheep, all right? Fresh off the plantation, I got to go back in a couple hours, so, you know, I wanted to get something going right now and, uh, you know, do what it is. You know what I'm saying? We do. All honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach in the course of right is truth. Peace and salutation to the elect. Form me out, Shirala, Wild Bible Ball. Shalom.